hello students welcome back in this class we will discuss about the geography of class 6 chapter number 2 globe latitudes and longitudes we will first start with the basic concept of globe latitude and longitude in the previous chapter you have read that our planet earth is not a sphere it is slightly flattened at the north and the south poles and bulge in the middle this shape of the earth is called geoid it means the earth is geoid in shape in order to get the idea of the shape of the earth you may look at the globe now what is globe globe is a true model of the earth globe may be of varying size and type it is not fixed it can be rotated the same way as a top spin or a potter's wheel is rotated this is the most accurate way of showing the continents oceans and other relief features in a miniature form as it is difficult to locate a point on the sphere like the earth so in order to locate a place on the earth we need certain point of reference and lines to find out the location of place and this point of reference we can get by knowing the axis now so let's discuss about axis what is axis axis is an imaginary line through which the earth is tilted this shows the inclination of the earth the earth spins around this imaginary line the two end points of the axis are the north pole and the south pole the axis of the earth is tilted at an angle of 23 and 1/2 degree to the vertical the south pole and the north pole act as reference point to locate on the globe here you can look into the picture it is a picture of globe it is a rough image of a globe you know by seeing this you can get a rough idea of the earth now the second picture shows the inclination of the earth through the axis this is called axis it is an imaginary line through which the earth is inclined and it is inclined at an angle of 23 and 1/2 degree to the vertical that is to the orbital plane and this is the plane of the earth's orbit this is equator this is tropic of cancer tropic of capricorn this is north pole and south pole it gives this picture gives a clear image of the inclination of the earth how the earth is inclined now the another important thing which help us to find out the location of place is parallels of latitude what are parallels of latitude the imaginary lines that run horizontally across the surface of the earth they measure the angular distance in degrees minutes and seconds of a point north or south of the equator now here a term came equator equator is also an imaginary line running on the globe and divides the earth into two equal parts okay it is 0 degree latitude the equator divides the earth into northern and southern hemisphere all the parallels to the north of the equator are called north latitude similarly all the parallels to the south of the equator are called south latitude now let's discuss some of the characteristics of parallels the first foremost characteristics of parallels uh, is that lines of latitude run parallel to the equator in an east west direction however they give the north south coordinate of a place they are equidistant from each other
the equator is the longest parallel the parallels decrease in length from the equator to the poles the 90 degree north and the south latitude are just dots and represent the north pole and the south pole respectively these parallels are numbered upwards and downwards from the equator they increase from 0 degree at the equator to 90 degree at the poles the another characteristic is that the letter n and s are used to indicate north and south latitudes respectively there are total 181 degree of latitudes on the whole 90 degree in the northern hemisphere 90 degree in the southern hemisphere and the equator okay now among this among this total 181 degree of latitude there are some important parallels of latitude also and what are these important parallel of latitude look at the picture This picture shows the important parallels of latitude. This is zero degree. That is equator. Or we can say it as zero degree latitude. The Tropic of Cancer. It is situated at an angular distance of 23 and a half degree north from the equator. Now this is Tropic of Capricorn, it is an angular distance of 23 and a half degrees south from the equator. Arctic Circle, it is situated at an angular distance of 66 and a half degree north from the equator. Now Antarctic Circle, it is situated at an angular distance of 66 and a half degrees south from the equator. These parallels help us to differentiate the temperature zone or the heat zone of the earth okay it is the importance of these parallels of latitude now what what are heat zone now let's discuss about heat zone or we can also we can also call it as temperature zone heat zone Due to the tilted nature of the earth axis, there is an unequal distribution of heat or solar energy on the surface of the earth. The amount of heat a place gets depends on the angle of inclination of the sun's rays at that point. Based on the amount of solar energy received, each hemisphere is divided into three temperature or heat zones, the torrid zone, the temperate zone and the Frigid zone. This is the picture of the heat zone. This is storage zone, north temperate zone, south temperate zone, frigid zone that is north frigid zone, south frigid zone, north pole and south pole. Now let's discuss this heat zone in details. The first form is zone is storage zone. As the earth revolves around the sun, Due to the tilted nature of the Earth's axis, the Sun appears to move between the Tropic of Cancer and Tropic of Capricorn. As this latitude gets the direct rays of the Sun, this is the hottest zone. This zone is known as the Torrid Zone or we can also say it as Tropical Zone. Now the another zone is Temperate Zone. The latitudes lying between the Tropic of Cancer and the Arctic Circle in the Northern Hemisphere and between the Tropic of Capricorn and Antarctic Circle in the Southern Hemisphere get the inclined rays of the Sun. These regions are therefore moderately heated. They are called temperate zone. And the last one is frigid zone. The angle of the Earth's sun rays keeps decreasing as we move toward the poles. The latitude between the Arctic Circle and the North Pole in the Northern Hemisphere and between the Antarctic Circle and the South Pole in the Southern Hemisphere get the least solar energy. 
these regions are very cold and are therefore known as frigid zone or we can also say it as polar regions okay so student this much for today only the next part the rest of the part we will discuss in the another session okay so there is some homework for you you have to do it at home note down the assignment what is glow what makes the toilet zone the hottest hottest among the temperate zone you have to find out the answer of these questions okay now let's meet in another session till then bye take care